plane's going, so that's that's even better. Oh, oh, oh. There goes Monica. Yep. Uh, hey, Monica. Oh, oh, oh. She's going. Oh, she's coming back. Hey. And she's gone again. What does this catch can have to do with today's video? Absolutely nothing. But an idiot. But it is a little bit of a teaser for a big project that we have coming up on the channel today. We're going to replace the headliner. And believe me when I tell you, the headliner didn't look bad. It, it was kind of stained and yucky, but... It was bad. <laughs> it, it was basically had a foam backing that was just completely disintegrating. So every time that you would get in the car, this brown dust would just keep falling on you. It was collecting everywhere in the car. It smelled bad and it just really needed to go. So if you told me a year ago that I would be sewing a headliner for a BMW, I would have said you were out of your mind. Ain't nobody got time for that. However, we're gonna do that in today's video. I'm not an upholsterer, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh shit, here we go again. Let me know what you think at the end, but let me show you how we get the headliner out of the car. Let's get to it. <laughs> It's not perfectly straight. Say what now? It's pretty doggone close to it. I mean, I did that. And did I catch a niner in there? And we now have a headliner that's ready to go back in the car. There'll be more cutting, but not until we get in the car and start fitting it up. Now it's gonna be kind of difficult to film trying to put the headliner in here. I'll do the best I can. There are two bows that go across. One goes here, one goes here, and this one clips in. So that's what we're gonna do first. Let's give it a shot. It did take some time to trim this down a little bit, make it a little bit easier to manage. These nuts. <laughs> I also replaced the grommet over here that was broken, so we should be ready for this to go back in. I'm gonna try to use some clips to clip these up. All right, so this looks like we're in pretty good shape here. 
I like how this is coming together. I'm gonna leave you guys pointed this way and we're gonna try to pin some of these front ones up. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Obviously, I didn't cut this all the way, but it'll pull up to there and it's gonna go and glue into this area but you can see all the way around that it's glued underneath the sunroof carriage so i think i'm gonna pull the sunroof carriage up so we can cut everything and get it down under there We're getting pretty close, getting a lot closer anyway. And those are gonna have to be cut to adjust to fit. And then you have to remember that everything over here has a trim panel that goes over it. So it pulls everything tight. Tight, very tight, extremely. So really this, those ribs. Chili baby bat bat. And that back are what have to be tight. Side to side, the trim pulls it in. I don't know. I think it might turn out okay. You sure about that? You sure about that? So we've got a little bit of trim work to do. How's this stuff all look? Well, I'm not a professional upholsterer. Feel bad for him. So it looks how you would expect it to look for someone who's not a professional upholsterer. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Which is to say, probably looks better than all the cracked garbage stuff and the bad headliner that was in here before. Cause we're not gonna get rain from this brown crap that was in the old headliner. But it doesn't look perfect either. And anyone who ever comes in here and looks. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah. Is going to obviously see that it wasn't done by a professional. But hey, it is what it is. I did it and I'm okay with it. So let's get on to putting all this trim together. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> So let me know down below in the comments what you think about my headliner. Do we have to? This certainly would have been a lot easier if I had chosen a fabric that had some stretch to it. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an upholsterer. But why would I spend all this time, energy, and money on this old beat up 733 that's not worth anything? I don't know. It could only be for the love of cars. And if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you love cars too. So if this moron can figure out how to do stuff like replace a headliner, I know you can too. So go out there and find that beater sitting in the field that you always wanted, make an offer, take it home, and put it back on the road. I know you can do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.